Biofuel program of Picresat is in partnership with the private sector and other stakeholders in the process. We call this the proof for biofuels program of Picresat. Sweet sorghum is an ideal crop for the dryland poor because it provides food and fodder as well as fuel. Sweet sorghums require much less water compared to maize. We can extract the juice from the stalks and then the juice upon fermentation gives the ethanol. Here at Ikrisat, we are trying to genetically enhance the sweetness and the juice yield of the sweet stalks so that we will have the higher productivity of ethanol per unit area, per unit of water consumed and per day. Ikrisat has linked the lab, industry, farmer and the market through the public-private partnership initiative of its agribusiness incubator. I started the first uh, world ethanol plant from Sweet Sorghum with the partnership of Ikrisat and the, through help of Agribusiness Incubation Center. We are having a unique network with the farmers and as well as bankers. We provide seeds to the farmers and take back the produce on a buyback guarantee under the agreements. Sweet sorghum is a crop that even the poorest farmers can grow. Besides bioethanol, there is also biodiesel. Pongamia and Jetrofa are two promising biodiesel crops. Igrisat's watershed team is promoting biodiesel trees in the remote tribal hamlets of Andhra Pradesh through women's self-help groups. Village women groups are collecting the seeds of Pongamia from the existing plantations in the forest, crushing the seeds to extract the oil and selling the oil in the villages for running the diesel pump sets, the machines for tractors as well as for pumping out the water and also electrifying the small hamlets in the tribal districts of Adilabad of Andhra Pradesh. Nubat, a government of India agency and IGRISAT are together promoting biodiesel plantations in wastelands through community participation. Jetrofa is also being planted in African countries like Mali. Igrisat has also tied up with private companies to promote biodiesel. Our collaboration has helped us to reach a position where we are confident of initiating large-scale cultivation of biodiesel crop in different parts of India and also in other developing countries. Our target is to facilitate cultivation of Jetropa and Pongamia in an area of 1 million acres in the next five years. This would help lack of farmers to earn additional income from their unutilized dry lands leading to rural industrialization and economic development. IGRISAT is on a mission to ensure that the rural poor of the drylands reap the benefits of biofuels. <laughs>